we have officially arrived in Germany and our first stop is to a castle. Um, this is one of the castles we're gonna see today but the other one is actually out of view it's a little bit further over there but it's the castle that the Disney Cinderella castle was based off of um, it's a famous castle not Schwaden something like that um, so we're gonna see that but we have officially arrived so I'm so excited we're gonna see this castle first and then we're gonna go see the other one um, later today so we have made it to castle number one excuse I'm out of breath but it was a long walk up Whew. so I thought we had made it up nope more stairs oh gosh so this is the castle Huwen Van Gao, which was the childhood um, <laughs> summer castle for Ludwig Ludwig the second or Ludwig the second something like that. Um, and the other castle will be going on later. Not Schwassen, um was the castle that he built as an adult, his dream castle. From here, we actually do have a view of the other castle. You see it way over there? We'll be going over there later. Right now, we're gonna explore this castle. So this is one of the views. This pretty fountain. Uh, we were told that there's a lot of swans in this area, and there's a lot of legends of swans. So we will be seeing swans throughout. There you can see a lake and people are allowed to go swimming in this lake and actually um, a lot of people that are on this tour that didn't want to come to this second castle are actually down there swimming now but I couldn't miss an opportunity to view and they're canceled because I am a princess and so I had to come and see the castle. Okay, so we are in a shuttle that's going to take us up to that castle because we all agreed that walking physically we can make it up. So now we are all crammed into the shuttle. <laughs> so this is a view of the Notchwaran Castle. Sorry, not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but it looks like it's going to get Notchwaran Castle. This is the original castle that the Walt Disney's Cinderella's Castle is based off of. Um, they copied this design. How beautiful it is. Huge castle. So right now we're on a bridge across from it, but we're about to walk down to go to it. Okay, so again, excuse all the bumpiness, but right now we're following the trail that's gonna lead us all the way up that castle. So I just hope I can make it, but I better make it. But anyways, we're taking this trail. Look how beautiful this nature around. I mean, this castle is surrounded by nothing but beauty. <sighs> so here you can see the other castle that we went to earlier which that's where Ludwig's childhood home was. Look how beautiful that is. Guys, it's just beautiful. Okay, so the castle is within view. We still got quite a long way to go, but it's in view. Alice is down hill, and then they said it will be a short uphill. Okay, 
Okay, look at the view from the upper courtyard of the castle. Okay, so over there is the bridge where we were standing on looking at this castle. My goodness, look how far we were. So we had to walk a trail all the way down and then up to this castle. Look, there's a beautiful little waterfall. Okay, so in both castles we were not allowed to have cameras inside. So basically just the doorways already exiting is the only thing I was able to record, I guess. But um, this castle, we're inside Nashwani's castle. Beautiful. I mean, when you think of a castle like Beauty and the Beast style, that's the way this castle looks. Like, when you think of a medieval castle, this is what this castle looked like. Super nice castle. Amazing. The other castle was technically a summer home for when he was young, so it wasn't really the castle. This was like his dream house, so he built it really nice, so. All right, so it was awesome. So here is the replica of the castle, and as you can see, it's very much like the Cinderella castle that, um, this castle inspired the Cinderella castle, but look how big and magnificent this castle is. I mean, amazing. See, those are the towers, Cinderella castle. Just awesome. Okay, so we're walking through some kind of tunnel. We're still trying to make our way out of the castle but ooh, scary ooh. <laughs> no films of what happened were shown in public but in Dachau the first concentration camp which served as a model for the others the SS took the photographs we see here everywhere the same principles obtained an extreme military order designed to make life unbearable. Brutal punishments for any attempt to ameliorate these conditions. And work, work to the point of death. Over the years, the concentration camps drew on an ever-increasing circle of victims. Political opponents, Jews, priests protesting against the connivance of their own church, Jehovah's Witnesses, conscientious objectors, and gypsies, for the Nazis as much a second-class race as the Jews. Foreigners too, patriots of the occupied countries, and even prisoners of war. How many Russian prisoners of war were shot in Herbertshausen near Dachau, we no longer know. Okay, so we are in Dachau. Look at all the um, where they had a concentration camp here in Germany, um, right outside of Munich. So right now we're walking towards the memorial site. Okay, so now we're going in through the actual gate that everybody who was brought to this camp had to go through. Thank you. 
Okay, so these are barracks where they would sleep in and there were just rows and rows and rows of barracks but after they were liberated of course a lot of it got destroyed so right now they just left it um, with rocks but they would gather for roll call on these like streets so they would come out of their barracks and they would have to line up um, to do roll call daily Okay, so it's just rows and rows of where the barracks were, and this is just um, number 30, so it's like the last one, but just to know that, I mean, each barrack was full of hundreds of people, thousands, thousands came through this camp. Oh my gosh, it's just so heartbreaking. Okay, so three different religions made memorials or just the Protestant Church, the Catholic Church, and the Jewish made their little memorials. Of course, after. Okay, so here's like a memorial that was made and it shows the years this camp was open. If you look at the if you look at the thing, I mean, yeah. you can just see like the skeleton bodies that were just all stacked one on top of the other, representing the ones that died here. Okay, and here's a memorial museum that has like just information about everything that was going on during that time. So even though they were in these horrible conditions, they still found ways to help one another, support and for resistance secretly, composing music, poetry, drawings, and even writing books. And secret because they weren't allowed to do any of that. Here's a replica of the Dachau. How concentration camp wow that's really big we're currently here which is where they turn into the museum with information but earlier we walked well now it's just rocks but those were the barracks So this is a really big museum. I think it would really take you all day to be able to read it all, but I went ahead and bought the book. And so all of this is inside the book. It also comes with a CD with a short video and all of this on there. So I will take the time to read it um, at a different time once we get back. 
Okay, so we are in Munich now and that you see right there is the Olympic Stadium. The Olympics were held here, I think they said in the 70s, sometime in the 70s. So that's their Olympic Stadium. And then there you can see the official Olympic torch that they had. Okay, so over there, it's the official BMW headquarters and that huge tower. Um, so BMW, of course, is from over here and that's their um, official, I guess their main offices. And then that building right here, that's kind of cool in the bottom, they made it into a museum. We're gonna try to see if we can go in just for a little quick look, um, but we'll see how much we can actually see. Okay, so this is BMW World and there's a bunch of rowdy little kids. So I guess kids are allowed in every country, it doesn't matter where you're at. <laughs> but about to enter BMW World. Ooh. This is the kids my cousin Joel that he's a big BMW person. <laughs> okay, so this is inside. BMW World, so I imagine these are like the latest and newest models. Um, they said up there it's like a museum where I guess they have the history and everything, but I don't think we have time to look around in there, so I'm just gonna take a look at the cars down here. Look at that. So here are the sedans, I guess. I don't know what that one is, but hey, look at fanciness over there. Oh, Rolls Royce. I can't pronounce it because it's too fancy. Rolls Royce. And look at the itty bitty 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 car. Oh, how cute. So here are the Mini Coopers. Look at the convertible and it's my color. And then I guess over there are the crossovers, which is most likely my style. But I'll say to Audi, which is my German car as well. A German car as well. Four means more. Four wheel drive. So, in the middle of Germany, people actually bring their surfboards and they come to a little area in the river where they could surf. It's really cool. And they're just surfing. Boy Bow. Oh, he's pretty good. So basically, this is surfing in the middle of Germany. I mean, of Munich, in the middle of Munich. Surfing in the middle of Munich. Wipe out. So we stopped in Munich at one of the royal palaces. Um, but look, there's so many swans so far in all of Switzerland and Germany we've noticed that there are so many swans and then that's the royal palace and it started off with just that part right there the original part but then the the first king that built it then the next his son when he took over he added 
the rest and just made into one huge palace. So we... Okay, we are on the back side of the castle. Look at this beautiful gardens they have. It's really pretty. Seems to be going on forever. Way over there. Here's the back side of the palace. Okay, so we are in the middle of Munich and this is church that is famous for having their bells and as you can see many people are gathered around to watch so the bells ring for five minutes straight and then if you can see in the different levels below they have little statues and stuff and then it kind of puts on a show I'll try to get it all As you can see, one of the little levels has already started. So it's a battle between two jousters, as you can see. It's the Bavarian jouster and the French. And of course, since we are Munich and it's Bavarian, the Bavarian jouster wins. So that's their little jousting. traditional um, this German men dancing and celebrating Bavaria's great victory. That's so cool. And everything's all in this church. their buildings are so we are in the middle of Munich and this is like a big shopping area and restaurants but this is mostly where all the souvenir shop shops are so I'll be doing some souvenir shopping so this is I 
Vegas, their big beer company over here. And this is like the restaurant and where it comes to get that beer that I guess is really famous over here, but I'm not really a beer drinker, so I don't know much of it. And that they had distributed in the university. They had gone into the university building in the in the morning, you know, and just pushed those pamphlets down in the light court and were caught by the janitor. Okay, right and then there is the city wall. And then um, you know, there was a trial. Okay, so who was there? Okay. So this is the short siblings were um, dedicated to all the student resistance and on the right hand side you see that bus sticking out of the wall that is um, Sophie Scholl and normally there's actually a white rose that comes to me today this is the very first time I come here where, there, where there's not a white rose because the white rose by Sebose that's how they call themselves that was the name of that resistance group behind there is actually a little memorial but it's closed now it's also only in German so here's a little memorial plaque for the students of the resistance during World War II from this university. See Hans Show, Sophie Show, they were siblings, but they also worked with those other people. Okay, so this is the main room of the university still a running university. So this, memor this memorial is called the White Rose Memorial because the student resistance group called themselves the White Rose. So that's what's called the White Rose Memorial. And right up here, it's another little um, I guess head plate statue um, in honor of Sophie Scholl. I can see that. So this is one of the classrooms at the university. I don't think their chairs are too comfortable, but I guess better for you to be paying attention. On TV. Look at that. Cool. Okay. So, somewhere from up here, not sure which balcony, but the one on that side, this one right here, or the one up there. But through here, one of these balconies is where Sophie threw all those pamphlets with um, all that information that got her and her brother arrested and on trial for. Wow, it's beautiful.
so this is a better view of the university and again it's the oldest university here in Munich and it's still a functioning university so we are officially on our way to Prague but we stopped in a small little medieval town of Resenberg where they still have an old stone bridge still intact although they are doing some for construction back there but most of it is still intact nice okay so I'm gonna cross the bridge a little bit and there's that cathedral over there that's really pretty so we're gonna go see if we can take a look at it So we are crossing another part of that stone bridge. So this is a small little medieval town of Resenberg. So this is what's on the other side. So the stone bridge is the entrance to the main little town area. Look how pretty that entrance is. Oh, it's so windy. I just love how all these little towns that we're stopping at are just so peaceful. Just really easy to get lost. To get lost in its beauty. Okay, so we are officially in Prague, Czech Republic. Okay, so we really just got here and we're actually walking to where we're gonna be having our dinner. But woohoo! So we are in Prague and we are in their old town square and that is the time church I guess so you can see that clock there and they have a lot of stuff going on there's like a stage back there and I'm guessing later on they're gonna have music right now there's just people talking but um, this is Prague yeah Okay, so here they make that roll of bread and then they put ice cream inside and I could get Nutella inside. So I'm definitely gonna try one tomorrow. And then here, look at that, there are potato chips and a stick. And this is all here in Prague. But they're just, it looks like a kebab of just potato chips. And I guess corn chips, because it's a corn. And then over here they have uh, just other little shops and they do a lot of like little wooden stuff. So that's pretty cool. Okay, I don't know what that is. I'm guessing it's a pig, but it just looks good. Yeah, it's a pig. It says ham. <laughs> so we are in the side courtyard of the big palace here in Prague 
and this is actually where the president lives and supposedly he's currently inside somewhere but um, of course we probably won't go to where he's at but um, this is they no longer have like kings and queens anymore so now they have a president and we're just outside the palace and waiting for our guide that's gonna take us in okay so this is the main entrance to the Prague castle The little square courtyard and here's the main front gate we actually entered from the side so we didn't pass these two gates it's really pretty they have a small little replica of the Eiffel Tower and it's up on a mountain so it can be the same height as the actual Eiffel Tower from sea level that's kind of cool so that's their little version of the Eiffel Tower here in Prague Okay, so this is a cathedral here in Prague and it basically looks just like Notre Dame but they say it's the biggest and prettiest cathedral in the Czech Republic. Okay, so we're inside the cathedral, and this is like the main center. And this is another goth cathedral, so that's why it's very dark and... Um, I honestly don't know what the goth means, but they keep saying it's a goth cathedral, so... So that's not completed, but it's going to be the big giant glass window of the Last Judgment. So working on it is going under renovations. So I guess these are the confession boxes where I guess the Pope sits on one side and people confess. Yeah. Look the puppy. <laughs> it makes me miss my Miku. <laughs> Even though he's acting. <laughs> Okay, so I said the dark part is the gothic part and the part with the gold is already the renaissance part of this cathedral. Now, this hotel is here. So this part of the palace is the palace where the president lives. That's the part where he lives. And then this part is the part that the people can go. And that's where we're going to go right now. Okay, so now this hall is only used for, um, I guess, the inauguration of the new president. But other than that, this hall is not really used anymore. So this is the 
This was the old parliament. That's Mary Antoinette's mother. I never really knew much about him. I don't think he was a Habsburg. She was the queen and he was the, her um, husband. Wow. This dude just. So we're in the back of the church. Like a little plaza. So we are in the armory room. We can see what the knights use, even kid knights. Wow. It's pretty cool. So here are all the different swords. So I found my knight and shiny armor. So this was their indoor restroom. I guess it went there to, I don't know where it went, but that was their restroom. So this was a torture room. So you see all these weapons they use to torture, I guess, enemies they caught. It's very, very scary. Look at that. Ugh, just to even sit on that. Wow. Okay, so here are all the knights' outfits. All the different nights. So here are the different helmets. You can see all the different helmets. Knights used. Spears. So here are some of the clothes. So Renaissance. Well, obviously this was a Renaissance, but just exactly how. Huh? Look at that. Just how you imagine. Okay, so this was the way their typical little house would be set up. A little sewing machine. Aww. Reminds me of my grandma. Both my grandmas who love to sew, and both had that style sewing machines. Another little house, and look, it's the baby's crib. <laughs> These were tiny, and I think my house is small. Good, got it. And there is the latrine. You poop in the bow, and then you dump it outside somewhere. So we're still right outside the castle. I mean, it's just very like it would be back then. All the little shops and stuff right outside the castle. The doorways and everything is really small, just my height. Okay, so this little shop makes puppets, Pinocchio style. It's 
really cool. Ooh, I knew it's scary ones. Okay, so we are on one of the many bridges here in Prague. And look how beautiful the scene the bridges and just Prague. Okay, so this is the entrance to the St. Charles Bridge. Look how grand it is. And you can see the bridge over there. And I'm guessing this is St. Charles. I don't know because I can't read the plaque. Here's another grand church. which is now made into a museum. So we're now going to go up this tower, so oh my goodness, I know it's going to be a bunch of steps, but I can make it, I can make it. So we made it all the way to the top of the tower. I'm out of breath because there were like a thousand steps, stair steps. Okay, go. So here's the bridge we crossed the St. Charles Bridge. So we were just down there. No, take a picture down there. And this is the view from the top of the tower on the St. Charles Bridge. On the frog. So here's the bridge and it's like a really tight, tight, tight fit. You have a clear view of the TV tower or something like that. And people can actually go up there. But we're told it was voted the second ugliest building in the whole world. So that's kind of crazy. It looks like a spaceship that hasn't finished, they haven't finished making or something. Okay, so this is here now rolling down. Okay, so here in Prague, we see this everywhere. This trade, trade on I have no idea how to say it, with ice cream. So we're about to get it right now. 
but it's basically like a bread and they stuff it with either chocolate, ice cream, cool whip, but the bread is specially made. This is what it's called. How do you pronounce it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey guys, so we are at the airport in Prague because our trip has ended. So Although I'm happy to go home because I really miss my bed and I really miss Nico and my family and stuff. Um, you know, it's so sad. That no more traveling. Bye, guys. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you got a taste of um, each place. So um, hopefully you can join me next time. Bye.